welcome to Anson Griffiths Occasional Series in YouTube Tutorials. Uh, today we're doing this in Excel rather than MATLAB. We'll get around to MATLAB in a few days. And we're looking at Kogmanov Smirnoff. So just go out to there. So we have the Kogmanov Smirnoff. And I took this figure from Wikipedia. And red is the CDF. That's the observed CDF, the observed cumulative distribution function and blue is the expected continuous distribution function and you're looking for the biggest gap if the biggest gap is less than the critical value we accept a null hypothesis if the biggest gap is greater than uh, we reject null hypothesis just highlighted there is the one drawn from the reference distribution. So we'll be doing a normal distribution today. So the null hypothesis is the data is normally distributed. The alternative hypothesis is the data is not normally distributed. Just some comments as well. Um, sample size is not that critical. You could do it with chi squared, but uh, um, chi squared would really demand five sets of five at a minimum that's 25. Now obviously the lower the number in the data sample you know the riskier things get. Okay and just some other comments there. You know the data has to be continuous. It's sensitive near the center of the distribution and the distribution must be uh, fully specified. So let's get on with it. We have Excel here. We have just some data. I got the bean. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, just flip that up. So I got the mean. That's the. I got the standard deviation. And I got the count. I manually typed in the frequency there and here I got a cumulative count and if we just slow down here I said equal sum C3 code and C$3 so when I drag down the first C3 you can see it, in the, it will become C4, become C5, become C6, become C7, C8, C9, C10 and the C$3 keeps things anchored. There I got 1 over 15, 2 over 15, 3 over 15. I'll just show the formulas again. And B$21 is there. Turn it off. So I wanted 1 over 15, 2 over 15, 3 over 15. How did I stop uh, B21 becoming B22 as I drag down? I say B$21. Next thing, I wanted to get the Z score for 1.2 using the mean and standard deviation. So, show the formulas. I got my Z score. Remember, it's X minus the mean over the standard deviation. So, it's B3 minus the mean, B19 over the standard deviation which is B20, and hopefully you're used to it by now. When I drag down, B3 will become B4, will become B5, B$19 will remain as B$19, and B$20 will remain as B$20. There I got the, um, the expected CDF, which is there, norms distribution, <clears throat> so norms, dist, and I've normalized what I mean I've normalized, I've converted, I've converted to a, a not one standard deviation in column F. Like, I'm not going back over the real basics. Norms, dist, F3. There it is. And this column here, I got the difference between the observed and the expected. 
um, the observed is E, the expected is G. And what does abs do for us? Abs gets the absolute value. And in this cell here, I got the max of that, which is H3 to H17. When you look up the critical tables for D15 at 5%, it's 0.338. If you're looking this up, sometimes some of the tables give um, two sample. This is only one sample, so just be careful. You might get what appear to be a different answer to myself. But anyway, for the, uh, the one, it's 0.338. My value here, 0.187499. Is less than 0.238 with no reason to reject HO. What's HO? The distribution is normal. What's HHA? The distribution is not normal. Hope that's of some help. Thanks very much for listening.